questions may be modified without directly editing the text. Features such as toggle by modal, calculate values, adjust choices in columns, and adjust points allow you to modify one or more questions simultaneously without actually editing the question. Toggle by modal allows you to change a question from multiple choice to short answer or vice versa. Highlight the test title, question type header, or question with the bimodal tag to the left of the question number. Click on the Toggle by Modal button on the toolbar. The highlighted question will then change from a multiple choice question to short answer. Dynamic questions contain algorithms that use program logic and commands to change variables within the question stem, answers, and in many cases the rationale. A question is dynamic if it has a dynamic tag to the left of the question number. All of the ExamView Learning Series math questions are dynamic, and approximately 50% of the ExamView Learning Series science questions are dynamic. To duplicate a question, select the question, then click on Questions, then Duplicate. You will see the same question with another value appear under the original question. To change the variables without creating a new question, select the question, then click on the Calculate Values button on the toolbar. The variables of the highlighted question will change. Adjusting the choices and columns lets you alter a multiple choice test for a special need student. You can instantly reduce the number of choices in all the multiple choice questions or specify how many columns to use to display the answer options. To do this, click on Question, then Adjust Choices and Columns from the menu options. The Adjust Choices and Columns window will appear. If you wish to reduce the number of answer choices, check the Reduce Choices checkbox. Enter the desired number of answer choices. If you wish to adjust the number of columns for multiple choice and multiple response answer choices, click the Set Columns checkbox. Enter the desired number of columns. Check the Use Best Fit checkbox if you want the program to automatically format the number of columns for multiple choice questions with long answer choices. When you're done, click OK. If you wish to change the current point values for more than one question, use the Assign Points command. To do this, click on Question, then Assign Points. The Assign Points window will open. The Assign Points window contains a table with three columns. The first column lists each question, the second lists the question type, and the third lists the point value for that question. Enter or edit the point value under the Points column for each question. If you want to change the point value for all questions of a certain type, use the Fill command. Click the Fill button, choose the question type, and select a point value. Click OK and all the questions of the chosen type will be changed to the point value that you chose. When you're done, click OK. This concludes the training video for modifying questions.